Howdy, my name is Troy and welcome back to the Addicted Motors Land Rover Range Rover Auction Review Discussion Chat Series here on the Addicted Motors YouTube channel. Uh, today is a very exciting episode because we've got something that, you know, this, uh, this checks a lot of boxes for me personally, especially because I own a Freelander, a 2005 Freelander, a very close spec, but not a three-door. And everyone who has a comment about a three-door is a Freelander is always making the comment, oh, I wish it was a three-door, wish it was a G4, wish it was this, wish it was that. Well, here you go, guys. Here is a 2005 Land Rover Freelander two-door finished in silver, non-G4, non-camel trophy, just a normal drive-around spec, which is kind of what you want. And it's pretty exciting because it's being offered in Illinois. Uh, I don't know if it's no reserve. It's probably listed a bit higher than I'd expect because it is a dealership. It's not a, a God honest trade in at a random Lincoln Mercury dealer or something like that. Like we do like to see them, but it looks to be in good condition. Uh, it's got clear headlights. It's got tires. Uh, it appears to be running. At least he's driving across the block and it has a nice silver paint. So again, pretty exciting. You just don't see these things come across the block. Um, hopefully it's some dealer that bought it thinking that they could advertise it personally, uh, and not with the Addicted Motors YouTube channel, and get a sale, and that's falling through because, you know, and no one's running around looking for Freelanders unless unless you're me or maybe someone that watches this channel, but this one is available. So all this information about the condition, it's, it's irrelevant because it's a two-door Freelander, uh, blah, 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 blah. It has paint, it has motor, it has transmission, so all that is useless. But let's get into uh, some of the pictures here. Now, I think the truck looks pretty clean. For an Illinois truck, which may or may not live in Illinois, that's just where it's being offered at auction. It looks very clean. It looks like it's potentially garage kept. Uh, headlights aren't too faded or anything. It says auction guarantee and nice car on the window. So maybe there is some type of either dealer or auction offered uh, guarantee, which is maybe okay for the buyer, not great for the seller because one, they're going to ask too much money. And two, there's going to be some arbitration, uh, in some form or fashion because it, again, it's a, it's a 20 year old Freelander. Um, uh, but understand looks okay, at least from this picture, doesn't look rusty or anything like that. Again, it's not like this was probably owned. This is, I don't think this is going to be a one owner original car, right? I mean, uh, this is this is a quirky, you know, this thing, it's not like some old lady drove to work every day. It's kind of an enthusiast pick. Um, and that's and that's absolutely fine. Got the cool tire carrier. It has the removable rear roof, the window that goes up and down. I mean, again, it, it's neat. I, I admit, a two-door is pretty cool. And, and again, you can purchase this one. It, it goes on auction tomorrow. Condition looks fairly decent. It looks like it's all there. Um, plastics are in good condition. Underside looks fine. Has tires. It seems to run. Um, there is a check engine light, of course, but it, it's Freelander, and that's kind of par for the course. I'm sure it needs O2 sensors and uh, MAF cleaning, and probably a thermostat. <coughs> Wheels look clean, all at least from what you can see. Shocks and underbody bits look like they're not rusted out. You know, it's it's it is presentable. I, again, I believe this was at probably at a lot somewhere. Um, and, and not just a, a random trade-in, which is, again, is, is fine for, you know, kind of what we're looking for here. Interior looks okay. Some rips in the seat. Um, definitely different configuration than the, the four-door. You've got different door panels, uh, a different cubby box. You've got uh, a different, I guess, uh, storage area above the sunroof. Uh, sound system speaker covers a little bit different. Uh, engine's not on in these pictures. It will, up oh, there it is. There's a check engine light. Awesome. Again, that's good for the buyer. You know, if it's something fixable, awesome. If the timing belt snapped, <laughs> maybe not too awesome. <coughs> sunroof, yeah. Everything looks good. Engine looks clean. A little low on coolant. Again, I'm sure the thermostat or somewhere under there is probably leaking or it just needs to be topped off. But it is orange coolant, so maybe it has been serviced in a proper service facility. But it does look original and, you know, uh, unmolested in there. Again, you get you have a lot of the little accessories and stuff that comes with it. Um, and it looks pretty clean. Like I said, if you're interested in this truck, let me know. We can bid on it. Um, again, it's not going to be $1,000. It's being sold by a dealer. It's not just a trade-in, but it is a cool truck. They don't come for sale, and maybe you can get a deal. Uh, mine ends on cars and bids Thursday also, uh, so I'm underselling myself, but, you know, there's there's a there's a different... I, I want to promote the Freelanders because, you know, why not? It is the... Every Land Rover I think should own one, and this one looks okay. So, catch you on the next one.